Hello guys. Welcome to the session. Today we are going to discuss some problems for IIT JE and NEET exams. The topic we picked up today is electrochemistry. Okay. We have already, uh, we have had a session already on this electrochemistry, right? We have discussed around seven, eight problems uh, there. A JE level problem, subjective questions we are discussing. You see, there is no option over here, right? So these are the questions of IIT JE, but it is not like it is only useful for those kids who are preparing for IIT JE. Okay, concept you must understand. Okay, it helps you in other competitive exams also, right? Fine. So look at this question. Question number nine: The standard reduction potential is given for AG, right? KSP is given for AGI. Evaluate the potential of AG plus to AG electrode in a saturated solution of AGI. Also find the standard reduction potential of this electrode. Okay. You can pause the video and you can try this on your own. Okay. I am continuing with the solution over here. Okay. So you see the electrode potential of AG plus to AG it is given that is 0.799 AGI KSP value is given so when we have this uh, saturated solution of AGI right so the saturated solution of AGI the half cell reactions are what are the half cell reactions we have AG electrode and AGI saturated in the solution so first reaction is the conversion of AGI into into silver plus I minus this is reduction reaction cathode and the silver is getting oxidized this is the reaction at anode at anode Right. So overall, the reaction is what we can add the two and we can find out the E value of this. Okay. Since KSP of AGI is given, Right, so we can find out the AG plus concentration. AGI is given, that is the concentration of AG plus into the concentration of I minus. So concentration of AG plus the square is equal to because both will be equal. AGI dissociates as AG plus plus I minus. So concentration of both will be equal. Right. So this is equals to. Eight point seven into 10 to the power minus 70. Right. So when you solve this, you'll get AG plus concentration as um, calculate this root of all of it. So that is around. Uh, again, we we'll get okay 9.3 root over of it, and this is 10 to the power minus 9. This is the AG plus concentration we get. Okay, now the standard reduction potential of AG plus to AG is given. We need to find out electrode potential of this. So we can write down the Nernst equation for this, which is E of AG plus two AG is equals to E naught of AG plus two AG minus zero point zero five nine one by one log of one by AG plus. So now we can substitute the value of E naught of AG plus and AG plus here. We'll get the answer. 
So E naught of AG plus is 0 0.799 minus 0 0.0591 by 1 log of 1 by 9.3 into 10 to the power minus 9. You can solve this. You will get the electrode potential for AG plus to AG is approximately 0 0.324 volt. Okay. This is the first part of this question. AG plus to AG electrode in a saturated solution. Electrode potential is 0.324 volt. Also find the standard reduction potential of this electrode. I minus AGI and AG. Okay. Fine. The cell that we have, right? This cell. standard reduction potential of this we need to find out okay so this means what the reaction if you consider here we have agi saturated so for this cell for this cell the e naught cell will be E naught cell will be because E cell is zero, so it is zero point zero five nine one log KSP. KSP of what? AGI. So we know all these value when you substitute, you will get zero point zero five nine one log of. KSP is 8.7 into 10 to the power minus 17. So when you solve this, you'll get minus 0 0.954. This is the E naught cell of this. Now, you see this E naught cell is equals to what we can write further because we need to find out for So here you see, we need to find out the standard reduction potential of this electrode, right? I minus to I plus and AG plus to AG, right? AG plus to AG and I minus to I plus we have. Okay. So the E naught cell for this, E naught cell, for this one will be the E of E naught of cathode E naught of cathode minus E naught of anode. Both are reduction potential. So E naught cell we have calculated and 
anode is what anode is silver electrode because this is saturated in energy solution so this is one electrode and this is another electrode right this is one electrode and this is another electrode so here you see e not of cathode anode is ag plus we have so e not of cathode is equals to minus of 0 0.95 plus for ag plus it is 0 0.799 reduction potential so when you solve this you'll get negative of 0 0.151 volt so this is the answer we have so we have two answer one is this and another one is this. Okay. Reduction potential E value is this. The standard reduction potential of E cathode is this. Right. So we need to find out we have actually two electrode. One electrode is AG plus 2 AG and another electrode is this. I minus 2 AG. I 2 AG. Means silver is present in, in a solution in which, which is saturated with AG. Okay. One behaves as cathode, other one behaves as anode. The reduction potential of Ag plus is given. For AgI, Ksp is given. Right? So we have calculated the reduction potential of standard reduction potential of this one, right? Agi that is that we have here. The overall cell reaction is this. Overall cell reaction, or how do we get when we add these two? Right? So cathode is this, it is given here. So cathode is nothing but this, which is this cell reaction. So this is here is the cathode. That's why we'll write this. And E naught cathode is nothing but this. Okay, that is the answer for this question. Okay. Next question you see. See, there's a storage cell, Edison storage cell is represented by this, which is given. Half reactions are also given. Okay, Ni2O3, SH2O gives this. E0 value is given for both. And both are reduction reaction, if you observe this. Both are reduction reaction. And hence, the potential that is given, that is the reduction potential. So what we can conclude from this, since the electron is getting consumed here, so both are RPs, reduction potential. This is also reduction potential. So the one which has more reduction potential will get reduced. Okay. So cathode is cathode is this reduction. Okay, I'll write down here only. This is cathode. Obviously, it is the right side, so it is cathode left side so it is anode right side cathode left side anode okay so cell reaction will be what we'll have to add the two reaction right we have to add the two reaction so what we'll do we'll inverse the second one and we'll add with two right we'll inverse the second one and we'll add with two so cell reaction is here Cell reaction is will inverse the two and add with the first one. So I'm writing it down directly. Fe solid plus 
Anion2O3 solid H2O an electron gets cancelled. Right hand side we have two NiO solid plus FeO solid. Okay, this is the cell reaction. So first one we have done A. B is what? B is what is the EMF of the cell? How does it depend on the concentration of KOH? So EMF of the cell is what? E cell. Again, we'll use Nost equation. Is equals to E naught of the cell minus 0 0.0591 by 2 log of NiO square. FeO divided by Fe and Ni2O3. I think this should be right. All these are given solid. So this thing is one. We can write this entire thing as one because all given is solid, right? So directly we can substitute here. E naught of the cell is what? E cathode minus E anode. So E cathode is this. That is uh, 0 0.40 minus E anode is this. That is minus of 0 0.87. Minus 0 0.0591 divided by 2. Log 1. So log 1 is 0. So answer for this question is the sum of these two, which is 1.27. Right? Now the OH minus concentration that we have here it gets cancelled, right? It is not present in this expression. There is no OH present here. Hence, what we can write, the second part of this, the E cell is independent of KOH concentration. This is the second part of this question. Okay? So this is the another answer we have. Now the last one is C. What is the maximum amount of energy that can be obtained from one mole of Ni2O3? Okay. So one mole of Ni2O3, the energy is what? The energy is nothing but the delta G. But we have to talk about the magnitude here. NF E cell, E cell, right? Since maximum amount of energy has been asked, so it must be E naught cell. We want to take EMF. EMF is, EMF is this E cell. E naught cell, if you take, when it has 100% efficiency, all, all these E naught cell converts into energy, then we'll get the maximum energy, right? That's why we have taken E naught, not E cell here. So we'll substitute 2 into 96500 into, into 1.27, the inert cell, which is 245.11 kilo. So this is the answer for the third question. Okay. So I hope all of you understood this. Okay. Easier one.